the motor spirit is here in Modena at Ferrari. And if there's ever a place to have motor spirit, it's here. Motor spirit, the romance of motorsports and motoring, personal excellence, and international exclusivity. It's been about six months since Luca Di Montezemolo left Ferrari, and he certainly left his mark. He became almost the embodiment of Enzo Ferrari. In his youth, he was a rally driver. He was educated at Columbia. He was an attorney. Enzo Ferrari heard him on a radio interview and hired him as his assistant. He became Formula One team manager president of Ferrari and one of Italy's most prominent businessmen. Whenever and wherever he spoke, he was a must see. No notes, no teleprompter. He knew what he was talking about. He took Ferrari from troubles to its splendor of success today. And he spoke with emozioni. The restaurant Cavallino, across the street from the old Ferrari factory entrance, will put you in a Ferrari mood. It's a simple restaurant. The food is a classic Emilia Romagna regional menu. And you'll be ready to go out and buy a souvenir from the nearby Ferrari store. Well, what can't you say about Ferrari that already hasn't been said? In hundreds, thousands of books, articles, features, movies. Today it's a modern company. But if you go back, it really came out of Italian craftsmanship, the guilds, the things beautiful, functional, the best, desirable. That's still in the heart of everyone who says, Ferrari. Museo Ferrari is not a static museum. They change exhibits regularly, displaying rare cars, justify making a return trip. Like this 512, bought by Steve McQueen for his movie Le Mans, given current auction prices for his cars, would be astronomical. On permanent display is an array of recent Formula One cars, Formula One engines, and a wall of fame of Ferrari world champions. Ferrari is Formula One, having won 16 Constructors' Championships, 15 Drivers' Championships, obviously with Schumacher's five, 
Alberto Ascari is two, Loud is two. Ferrari has more GP starts, wins, and podiums than anybody else. An exhibit of secret and unique Ferraris was on display this visit, highlighting prototypes, one-offs, work done by Ferrari's design office, and Giorgetto Cigario, who ironically never designed a production Ferrari, although he did some smaller projects. And to celebrate his 50 years in the automobile business, he designed his own personal Ferrari. Based on a 612 Scagaletti, it was built for function, and it has rear fold-down seats and a rear door hatchback. It's called GG50. And while Gingario explains the rationale behind his car, he, like so many other Italian car designers, is from Turin, about two hours west of Milan, along with Bertone and Pininfarina. Today, Gingario Ital Design is owned by Volkswagen Group. This was his alternative design for the 360 Modena, ultimately designed by Pininfarina. Iconic Ferraris look beautiful and won races. Like this 250 GT Berlinetta Tour de France, Pininfarina design, Scagaletti aluminum built body, the Model 1 at Miliamiga, Le Mans, Sebring, and Tour de France, 45 were built. The 250 GT Berlinetta short wheelbase, beautiful and fast, introduced in 1959, it chalked up a string of sports car victories. And the essence of Ferrari, the 1962 Ferrari GTO. A hybrid of a different sort, both streetcar and race car. 300 horsepower V12, 36 were built, all still are around today. And the 250 LM. Ferrari's first mid-engine car, 72 were built primarily as race cars. This one was modified for the street by Pininfarina for a European count. And the 2012 La Ferrari, the company's first hybrid using F1 power plant technology from the Ferrari design office. The model went through 10 versions before finalizing with this design. Museo Ferrari is by the Ferrari factory in the suburb of Marinello. The new Museo Casa Enzo Ferrari is different and in Modena, not far from the train station. Go there first. You can get between the two by shuttle bus. It's a perfect day trip from Bologna. <laughs>